King of Sports. New Japan Pro Wrestling. Fighting Spirit Unleashed Tour continues here at the Vermont Hollywood in Hollywood, California. It's Ian Riccoboni, Alex Kozlov, New Japan Strong here tonight. Four huge matches, Alex. This is going to be an action-packed night. This is the best place to be on a Saturday. We're going to kick things off. QT Marshall taking on Kita. We've seen both men here, but QT really getting the ire of the fans here on New Japan Strong. That exhibition, give me a break in Charlotte. Oh, please, show the man some respect. He challenged somebody randomly, and a local hero answered the challenge, and how Q uh, QT Marshall was able to showcase his talents, his skills. Why do you keep hating on him? Why do the fans keep hating on this super, incredibly talented I, I know the real QT Marshall. I've known him for a long time and from our days in New Jersey. You got to trust me on this one, Alex. There's some things that don't come across the camera, some things the fans don't see. Huge matchup, though, huge opportunity for Kita. And huge opportunity in our tag team bout. In match number two, we will see Bad Dude Tito, who, who's coming off a, a roll in Japan. Seven and seven in competition on his first tour in Japan with New Japan. But that doesn't tell the full story about the quality and caliber of opponents. He faced there, he's teaming up with Shane Hayes, TMDK, to take on Yuya Uemura and Christopher Daniels, the team that made it all the way to the finals of the tournament to crown the first tag team champions here on Strong. That's right, this is gonna be a hell of a match. Uh, Christopher Daniels, Yuya Uemura, they shouldn't have even been in the finals. Nobody, nobody believed that they could be, you know, a new team, Yuya Uemura is an experience, but Christopher Daniels was able to pull out that fire out of Yuya. And they have decided, even though they didn't win the, the championship, they decided to stay a team, mm -hmm. to continue to work on, on, on this, to one day capture that uh, championship. It's gonna be interesting to see if that team can continue their momentum. A huge test in front of them, Shane Haste. <laughs> Bad to Tito. That is a formidable duo indeed from TMDK. In our third bout, we will see Ren Narita, who's on a bit of a roll of his own, coming off Ric Flair's last match, picking up the victory in that opening bout. On that night, he's going to take on the debuting Jacob Austin Young. Jacob Austin Young, who was discovered at uh, the LA Dojo camp. You know, he makes his debut today against Ren Narita, who, like you said, he's been on a roll ever since he got here yeah. on excursion. So uh, this will be a great opportunity for both of these men to, you know, show off. And a rare event where Ren Narita is not in the main event. I don't know if you've noticed lately, but Ren Narita has been in the main event with a team with Kushida facing Buddy Matthews, Jay Lethal. This is a man who's on the rise, who's starting to get momentum, and I think one day will compete for that strong open weight championship. But our main event this week, Alan Angels goes one on one with Taji Ishimori. What a matchup that's going to be! His his debut here on Strong. And what a treat it is to have Taiji Ishimori in the house. Yeah. So accomplished, so many accolades. He, talk about legends, he is a living uh, junior heavyweight legend. And, uh, you know, his rival, I mean, who he's facing, I mean, even though he's more inexperienced, I mean, the styles of both of these uh, men will create a spectacular match. Well, think about Alan Angels, too. He's got the weight of the world on his shoulders, betting on himself coming off of AEW. We've seen him in Impact. We've seen him now in New Japan Strong. We've seen him all over the country. This is a man who's putting all of his money on himself, and there's no bigger bet than going one-on-one -on -one against Taji Ishimori here tonight in our main event. Let's waste no more time. Let's kick things off. Fighting Spirit Unleashed Night 3 starts now. Open match. 15分 1分 勝負を食らいます。
butt to you. Oh, I, I, I realize you're you're just oozing of jealousy. But I, I appreciate jealousy. the fact that you, for the first time, recognize that QT Marshall has success. He's successful. So He's not is. in it for the friends. I know he wouldn't be oh, your friend. Marshall's friend when I was breaking into professional wrestling in 2013 and I saw what this man is really made out and it he is he is just about himself he doesn't care if he humiliates folks like he just did that man in the front row he looks happy to me oh come on let the man enjoy his success I mean he's a happy happy positive individual and listen uh look I mean, I get it. He's a better uh, athlete than you. He's well, a, he of course he is. plays baseball way bet, better than you I ever I was in college baseball. He was better in high school, but I was I made it to college. But he's a professional. He's an ath a professional athlete. I You're just an athlete. You were an athlete. QT Marshall, certainly. To were do you it, an athlete? I was, believe it or not. NYU, class of 2009. Well, QT's better. He, he's done it at the professional level, as has this man. And my journey to NYU started in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Nearby Allentown was Scranton, just a, a jaunt up 476. Scranton was a town that was left behind by many people. Its people were betrayed by the factories that now haunt the empty roads of Scranton. And you got to be tough. You got to be a bad dude to make it out of Scranton and to climb the heights that this man has. And how poetic is it that he's facing off against a leader of the factory? <laughs> poetic justice. That's right. Kita has had some success here in tag team action on New Japan Strong. Six-man action. Going against QT Marshall, who he himself you think back to Chicago, that six-man tag between the factory and LA Dojo, QT coming out on the winning end of that. How about that impromptu, impromptu match? He tried to, he, he had full intentions of humiliating Parker Lee. Parker Lee gave him a little bit more than he bargained for. And that almost backfired on QT and then. Well, I mean, look, you gotta, you gotta admire his, uh, you know, taking a, such a risk uh, against an unknown rival, right. you know, and then he came out victorious, proving to all of us why he's been so successful. 20, I mean, he's been doing this for 18 years. Fans here in Hollywood, for some reason. Uh, for, for some reason. You see the way this guy looks down his nose yeah, at everybody? They, it's jealousy. It's jealousy. jealousy. They, I look at them, and they, they remind me of you a little bit right now. I've gone to therapy for jealousy, and I know how dangerous and how evil jealousy can be. And I don't believe the fans are jealous. I think they see. Oh, God. Please, standing this, ovation. He please. is a great athlete who has climbed heights in Ring of Honor, AEW New Japan. You don't do that by being a, a bad athlete. You don't do that by not being a world-class athlete. But it's the way he looks at you, down his nose. He looks down his nose at anybody that he doesn't think can, can help him. Oh, collapse. man. Look at the power of QT Marshall. And that's uncalled for. He turned his back on Diamond Dallas Page in AEW. How did he turn your back on the nicest man that ever was in professional wrestling? Some people are not into yoga. How do you how do you fight Shaq? I, like, listen, I mean, I admire him for wanting to punch Shaq in the face. And he, giving an opening to Keita. Shots to the midsection oh, here. Man. That's like six, seven uncontested shots. And you can take the man out of Scranton. You can't take Scranton out of the man known for being fighters up there. And oh, big time elbow sends QT down to the mat. Kita, who's had success, like we said, in New Japan before. Interesting matchup, two evenly matched competitors. They have Charlie horsed himself there on the turnbuckle. Oh, Ooh, does not prevent him from getting that insiguri. That Enziguri was so hard, it hurt Peter. Now up to the top. 
Up and over, rolling through. QT ducks the close. Oh! oh! But catches him on the rebound. Shades of his baseball days. You can see the swing. You can see how hard he swung. Something you wish you would have done in your high school and college days, Ian. All-state baseball player, QT Marshall, in the great state of New Jersey. Yeah, just uh, learn to talk about him without saying any buts. No buts about it. Stellar record here in New Japan. That's the nicest, honest thing I can say about QT Marshall. A very excellent record in his short time here, which, which led by instigating fights with the LA Dojo. Can we say he's undefeated? Cover. Two. QT Marshall definitely undefeated in his own mind across every organization he's been in. You know, this is a man who's recently fought Brian Danielson, John Moxley. Not afraid to get in there with the tip top cream of the crop. He believes in himself. It's admirable. <laughs> QT Marshall believes QT Marshall is the number one wrestler of all time. Ooh, sometimes maybe to his detriment, but he has led the factory, Nick Camarado, Anthony Agogo, and Aaron Solo, who's on the outside, to more success than they had before in their careers and really uplifted other careers. So that is admirable. I will say that nice thing about QT. Unfortunately, the methods by which they've obtained victory have been by dubious means as Keita now. Body shots connecting across the jaw, but it's QT. Short lived. Yeah. QT with an answer for everything so far. Oh. Keita though, jawbreaker. There's that money clip. Thrust kick to the midsection. Oh, big Man. knee. Big knee to the side of the skull of QT Marshall. Oh, that was a vicious knee to the temple. That is a dangerous, dangerous move right there. Catches QT, back elbow to the back of the neck. QT breaking free. QT oh, wow. over Keita, pulls him up. Two. two. Oh, man, that was close. Wow. Just the two there, caught. Oh, lock man. broken out of by that big elbow. Pop up. Oh, man, that's a home run, Ian. That's a home run. Oh, come on. The move personally bestowed to him by DDP. Oh, watch. Look at this execution. Beautiful. Plants him with the diamond cutter, hooks the leg. your winner. Come on, a little bit more energy in. QT Marshall, make no bones about it, continues his role in New Japan, and New Japan strong. And I think that's what gets under my skin and the people's skin, the fact that he talks the talk backs it up by walking the walk in the ring, and there's nothing more frustrating than that. But the music! Someone who talks trash is able to show the world that they're capable of backing it up. That's right. Oh, this is just, first of all, inappropriate. I'll agree with that. Are you finished? Thank you. The last time I was here was probably the most disrespected I've ever been in my life. And then in Charlotte, after I was out there giving you another five-star performance, five-star, one, two, three, four, five, Shota wants to come out there and ruin my moment. Shota wanted to come out there and ruin my moment that I was giving each and every one of you fans. I'll tell you what, Shota, if you actually think you're on QT's level, why don't you face me one-on-one -on -one like a man? He knows he's not here. He knows Shota's Hi, Shota, huh? What's up, QT Marshall? Do you want to wrestle to me? Oh, you wait a minute. You? That's right. OK, I'm ready. I'm ready. I want to kick your ass. 
see you in Las Vegas. Otis English has gotten a lot better. I understood that loud and clear. What an impressive individual speaking two languages, Alex. Answering the challenge in, in what I would call plain English. Un He's asking to unbook it. Shota Singh, I'll see you in Las Vegas. It's Shota QT Marshall. The 32nd G1 Climax produced some surprising results in some way. And maybe some foreseen outcomes in others. And then there was TMDK. Jonah had quite the tournament, and when he wasn't in the tournament, he was teaming with the man you saw on your screen just prior, who's now on the oh, left. This man right here, bad dude Tita. Mikey Nichols, congratulations on your new child. And it was Haste who was here in the U.S., bad new Tito and Jonah in Japan. And Tito, seven and seven in, in, in competition, in tag team competition. But they have wins against LIJ Team Filthy and Great Bash Heel. The most impressive Tito look to me was against Okada and Tanahashi in a loss on August the 6th. But he showed something that Show that he not only belongs here on strong, but also maybe next year in the G1 itself. Yeah. But we have this new team that arose out of nowhere that went all the way to the finals. They were so close to winning the strong openweight tag team championship. The fire of Yuya Yomura and the experience of Christopher Daniels, they decided to stay at Tacton to work on themselves to become better to maybe one day challenge for the Strong of the Way Tag Team titles. Professional wrestling, very proudly, Christopher Daniels. We have ever heard, I, not 29 years old. <laughs> Daniels has been wrestling longer than we, you Umar has been alive. But talk about the career of Daniels, unparalleled in terms of, I mean, this man has launched companies, whether it was Impact, Ring of Honor, AEW. This man has wrestled everywhere there is to wrestle. And you couldn't ask for a man better in your corner to not only help mentor you, but also help you win championships like Christopher Daniels. Absolutely. And you can't count this team out. You can't count Christopher Daniels and Yu Yamura out. They went all the way to the finals. Yes, they're facing one of the greatest, you know, TMDK, Tito and Shane Hayes. Can't count them out. And interesting combinations on both sides, of course, Tito. Filling in for Mikey Nichols, the normal tag team partner of Shane Haste. Well, again, we congratulate on the birth of the recent child. Side headlock here. And Shane Haste has a, a clear height advantage over most of the wrestlers he competes against, standing about six foot three inches tall. Loves those kicks. Very good with his, with his kicks, no doubt about it. And yeah, I think a lot of folks expected to see. Oh! oh! Signature drop kick from Daniels. Ace making the tag. I think a lot of folks expect to see TMDK in the finals of the tournament. Instead, upset. Yeah, by, yeah, by uh, Uya, Uya Umura and uh, Christopher Daniels. And uh, bad dude Tito, uh, as soon as he stepped foot here on uh, New Japan Strong, you know how perfectly he fit with TMDK. Eventually became an official member. I mean, look at it. Look at the power. The, the first American member, no less, of TMDK. So 
A very oh, oh, historic distinction. Tito and Jonah had formed such a great cohesive tag team. Oh, oh man. And their battles against the United Empire cannot be understated how vicious and brutal they were as Daniels into the red corner. Tag made. Yu Uemura coming in for the first time. And Uemura has been no stranger to mixing it up with bad dudes. Been in yeah. there with, with big bad Brody King. Been in there with some of the, the biggest and toughest in New Japan. Ooh. And maybe the strongest and stoutest of the recent oh, crop wow. of the dojo. And Yuya on excursion here in the United oh. States. Shane Haste. Oh, planted down by Yuya. And Christopher Daniels sending Haste down. And they're just tossing Shane Haste around like a toy here. And Yuya, you know, has a great upper body strength here. Cover. One count there. Very well conditioned. Not afraid to fight. As long as he's conscious, he won't back down. Quick tags being made, and I'm, I've been so impressed with, with Yuya because normally these young Lions, they, they tend to compete in either single matches or six-man matches. They don't normally compete in tag team matches. So for him to jump into the tag team ranks as quickly as he has and, and find continuity with Daniels has been nothing short of remarkable. Well, I, I do believe that it's a test for Daniels and his experience. With the right guidance, somebody like a Yuya Yamura with his fire, it's a magical combination. Well, he's held championships, tag team titles. Daniels has in Impact, like we've mentioned. He's part of the very first ever Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. Former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champion. Tag made. So you might be onto something, Alex, is what I'm saying. As a side Russian leg sweep delivers. It's the leg. Two. And what does it mean to have a mentor like that, Alex? You came up through the original LA Dojo, and you, you had some great folks in your ears as your career was. Well, yeah, I mean, we've had guys like uh, Brian Daniels and Samoa Joe around uh, that we can pick their brains from Ooh, to learn me. from them. It, it is one of the greatest gifts. One of the greatest gifts to have a mentor in your corner, somebody with experience, like Christopher Daniels. But with guys like Badu Tito, and uh, with that agility, that power, uh, it, it's a, it's a, it's a tough, it's an uphill battle. No matter who you are. Oh, God, Tito, just fighting and exposing the chest. This combination, Ooh. punch chops. We've seen that from, from Hall of Famers like Tenru, who certainly worked for them. Cover two. As Tito gets a two count there, just staring a hole in Christopher Daniels as he. Protecting the damaged corpse, the damaged body of Yuya. Nice float over two. And Yuya in the blue corner, trapped here. Tito now just stepping on the hand. You're not going to make a tag if bad dude Tito's hand, foot is on your hand, that's for sure. Driving Yuya into the corner, tag made. And it's Haste. Driving through the European uppercut. Snapmare takeover. Oh, watch this. Oh, man, I love these. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Your whole body tingles. You're, you're, uh, I mean, it shocks your system. Kicks such as those. Oh, come on. And now just laying him in. And oh, nothing man. illegal about this. I'm just shocked at the violence. Yeah. Those, that, those kicks produce. And he kicks you wherever and anywhere. Watch the athleticism. Bazu Tito, look at that. Oh. Cover here, lateral press. Two. Able to kick out there. Barely, though. I mean, the time it pushing through those hips. It shows you what you think about the strength of Bazu Tito holding those shoulders down. Quick tags being made. TMDK with the advantage here. It's Yuya with the forearm. Back elbow connects, delivers. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow. And get that. Wow. Blue Thunder from Tito. One. 
two count there. And you got to think this match for a lot of pride for Shane Hayes. This is essentially for him a second round rematch of the tournament to crown the first ever strong openweight tag team champions. Uh, TMDK, in my mind, were the favorites to walk out the champions to get to eliminated, to be eliminated by a team like Daniels and you, who hadn't teamed much before. Absolutely. Really had to shock his system. Absolutely. Ooh. Wow. Oh, and he blocks both arms here. That's oh! Wow! Man. That's what's so great about Yui Yamore, is he adapts. For somebody, you know, of his experience, he's very good at adapting. And looking to make a tag, he does! Daniels tagged in! Forearm connects, Daniels charging in, clothesline sends Hayes down. Into the corner, forearm on Bad Dude Tito. Ducks the right, weighs oh. the into the German suplex, into the yeah. neutral corner. Ducks the right from Tito. Now Irish whip, reverse. Oh. Daniels, though, capitalizes on Hayes out of the way. Tito into his own partner. Rolls Tito through. Oh. Hayes sent into Bad Dude Tito. It's Daniels, second rope on the inside. Daniels sends that Tito. He is on fire as Christopher Daniels. Waist lock by Hayes, back elbow. Daniels off the ropes, Hayes caught. Got him, plants him down, Spicoli driver cover. Two, two. Oh. Just a two count there. That speaks to the Rolodex of moves Daniels has. I haven't seen him do one of those in quite some time, but he's not afraid to pull out what he Leaves might lead to victory. Yeah, but I feel like he expended a lot of energy. He was calling for Yu Yamura, which he was nowhere to be found. And oh! Oh! And as Tito grabs his leg, Yuya taking care of business there, but it's Hayes! It rolls up Daniels, too! Oh! Almost grabbed the tights there. Exploded by Shane Hayes. Sends Daniels into the neutral corner. Oh! And Yuya pulling Daniels out of the way from that cannonball. Christopher Daniels called for an audible here. What are they going to do? We've seen this before. We have. Maybe look for that bulldog. Oh. That Steiner style bulldog. Oh, and it's a, it's a miscommunication there. Shane Haste has oh. Daniels. Sets him down. Cover two. Bad to Tito holding on to the foot of Yuya Mura. Yuya unable to break the pin. And, and, I, and I don't want to cast any blame on anybody here. I mean, I think Daniels made the right call to go for that top row bulldog, that Steiner style bulldog that helped them win in the tournament. But the fact that Yuya just couldn't going through the miscommunication and he had to kind of plead I'm sorry I'm sorry instead of just continuing in the match I think that'll come with experience the good teams just work through it well look this is uh this is the quest that Christopher Daniels and Yuya Moore are on they want they decided to stay a tag team to work on this work out the kinks this is a learning lesson but in the meantime TMDK Shane Hayes back in the win column with Bad New Tito fresh from Japan Yuya and Daniels, a great effort. And that's one where all you can do is go back and watch the tape. I don't know if it was the language barrier, the experience difference. If that would have happened to Daniels and Kazarian, for instance, Daniels and Kazarian would have just kept fighting. They wouldn't have acknowledged that maybe one bumped into the other. Yeah, maybe would have just kept going. Well, it's certainly a different dynamic. Christopher Daniels is dealing with a young, inexperienced, but very fiery and passionate uh, tag team and, partner in New York. And Daniel says he's sorry. What? Oh! What, what just happened, Ian? Uh, Christopher Daniels just kicked Yui Yamura below the belt. I, I, I feel like we should have like seen this coming a mile away. I didn't see it coming. This is Daniel's true colors. Oh! Yuranagi, that standing sambo judo throw. Ian, I'm shocked. Best moonsault oh. ever. And 
you know deep down that it boiled Daniels to no end, that Yuya was the one that was pinned, that cost him another historic moment in his career. I mean, they did win all the way to the championship, to, to, to the finals, thanks to Yuya. But it was Yuya that was pinned. Best mood song ever again. And if you didn't think that Denny Daniels alive, that they didn't leave Charlotte with tag team gold, I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. I just didn't think it would be this soon. Yuya Yamura has one of the brightest futures in professional wrestling. I for sure thought Daniels would have hitched his wagon. It seems like an unbeatable duo on paper if they got the continuity together, Alex, if they figured out the rookie spark with the veteran edge. But it seems like Daniels and Uemura are oil and water, and we should have known this is Daniels' true colors, Alex full display in living color here in Hollywood, California. I'm getting embarrassed by movies like that. Wow. In his own words. I, I don't mean, I, I like you a lot as a friend, Alex. I don't mean to tell you I told you so, but we just heard it from the man himself. He feels like he has no blame in that loss in the finals. He feels like he has no blame tonight. He's putting it all on the shoulders of that young man. And, and he better be careful. Because we've seen in young athletes' careers moments where veterans who have had Hall of Fame careers blame the rookie. And the rookie's just a little bit younger, a little bit faster, a little bit stronger. And they do bad things to that veteran when they get their hands on him. Well, this must be heartbreaking for you, Yamura, at the same time. He just lost his mentor, somebody that he looked up to. Put it all on him. Now Yuya has to live with the burden because Christopher Daniels refused to put her on his shoulders. Uemura will fight, live to fight another day, that's for sure. The fans coming up next, we will see Ren Narita take on the debuting Jacob Austin Young. With the New Japan Strong Openweight Championship match coming next week, I thought it'd be appropriate to say a few comments and send Fred Rosser a message. But Fred, I uh, actually just want to tell you a story. You see, it wasn't that long ago that neither one of us were in the New Japan locker room. We were in a different locker room together. And just like I'm a champion in New Japan, I was a champion there too. But not just any champion, first of a generation. They launched a show around me. And every champion that came after me, they used to get these side plates with their name and their logo on it. And these guys used to taunt me and say, TJ, if you're so special, if you really paved the way, if you really are so great, how come you didn't get side plates? And I'd laugh. And I told them, I didn't get side plates. because a big plate in the middle it was made for me. Now, Fred, I'm glad that you're our New Japan Strong Boy Champion because I'm glad that you're here. You're a great wrestler. But you said that it is an honor to share the ring with me. You're not sharing the ring with me, Fred. You're renting it. There wouldn't be a New Japan Strong Boy Championship if there wasn't a New Japan Strong. And there wouldn't be a New Japan Strong if there wasn't an LA Dojo. And there wouldn't be an LA Dojo if I wasn't there hanging the bags and rolling out the mats and building the ring. You see, I built the LA Dojo and the LA Dojo built New Japan Strong and New Japan Strong built the New Japan Strong Open Weight Championship. So when you put that title on and you stand in front of me next week in that ring, you just remember that big plate in the middle was built by me. Exciting times here in New Japan Strong. Here on the Fighting Spirit Unleashed Tour, a number of debuts, including this young man. Exciting to see new faces here in New Japan, New Japan Strong. 
discovered at an LA Dojo camp. And this man, already world traveled, competed in the Oriental Wrestling Entertainment in China. Oh, wow. Incredible. Incredible pedigree for a man who just turned 30 years old, a decade in wrestling, and, and we've talked about guys like Bad Dude Tito who fought and clawed to get here and made the most of their opportunities. J.R. Kratos, another man like that. And it only takes one, it only takes one victory over a New Japan star to establish yourself. But he is jumping in right now against a man who we've become accustomed to seeing in the main events here, Alex. Ren Narita, he's like the Michael Jordan of pro wrestling, only 23 years old, four uh, years of in-ring experience. What he's been able to accomplish is incredible. And how about the fact that a year ago at Fighting Spirit Unleashed 2021, Ren Narita defeated Fred Rosser, the current strong upperweight champion. Amazing. Who we will see in the main event, the final night of the tour. Bell called for. And that's coming up next week, folks. He defends that title against TJP, a man very accomplished in his own right. Talk about the wins for Ren Narita. See a front face lock here as, as Young went for the double leg. Now almost see that fighting style. That of Antonio Noki, something that, that Narita is very familiar with, knows how to counter, but that's where Young feels very confident, very familiar. Looking for the wrist here, and they're grappling. Looking for the underhook. Instead, it's Narita's side headlock here. Great battle here. And this is a great sign for me for Jacob Austin Young, because this means he has studied his opponent. He knows that Narita likes to go to the mat. With the advantage here, it also gets in Narita's head a little bit, too. Oh, absolutely. Wrist lock take off. Oh. oh! That was beautiful. Wrenching the arm, driving it down. And you see him looking for that, maybe that double wrist lock. Instead, trying to push out of it, Narita. Kick to the oblique, shot to the back. Narita, like we talked about. Oh! oh. Man. In a rarefied air, cover. One. There's only a couple of men, including Jay White. Tom Lawler and Fred Rosser cover here. One, two, that have been in more main events than Narita. Narita, oh, oh God. man. Cover here, one, two. Getting a little closer each time, but he's main evented against Jay Lethal. Buddy Matthews, Josh Barnett, stepped up to the plate back at Wrestle Kingdom back in January to take on Shibata. Is a man who's really become a bona fide star here in New Japan, New Japan Strong. And it would certainly be a feather in the cap of Jacob Austin Young to walk out with a victory here as they are exchanging forearms. Ooh. Spinning kick to the midsection. And Young has created an opening, created some space, charging in. Ooh, Narita, big boot caught. Oh, man. Wow. Twisting that ankle. We are seeing some wisdom beyond the years from Jacob Austin Young. And you're going to take a lot more than that. Oh, man. To keep down Red Narita smiling that. Ooh, ooh, that one took him down a notch. Absorbing the pain. And Narita now officially on excursion, as we've talked about. Around the world, oh, DDT man. plants it. Cover, one. And maintains control of the wrist. Looking to step over here. Beautiful. Double wrist lock. Beautiful. Uh, Ren Narita blocking. Blocking uh, Jacob Young here. Blocking that Kimura, that extension behind the back, but still, still wrenching in pain here. Waist lock, standing switch. Narita, who had one of the biggest moments of his career recently, defeating Yuya Uemura in the opening match of Ric Flair's retirement show, his last match show. I was on hand to call that, and we saw these quick open hands, these boots, these fast strikes there, and we're seeing them now. Irish whip it in the corner. Narita! Front face, half and half into the bridge. One, two! Two count there. 
And the reader in control right now, but I gotta say, Jacob Austin Young, very impressive. I'm impressed with the knowledge. Ooh, looking for that belly to belly. He's put opponents away with that. He's had counters for everything Narita has tried to dish out. Narita has landed more blows and more holds, though. I'm, oh! I'm impressed with the, the game plan, though, by Jacob Austin Young. Look at that. Look at that roll up into a Body scissor into the trap. Cover into the bridge. Nice. One, two. Oh, man. Oh, watch out, watch Narita. out. Narita into the choke, the rear naked choke. Oh, he's got him. He's got oh, it in tight. the lights are fading. Slipping out, traveling the legs, two. Wheel barrel, look for a backslide. Sending him down, two. Oh my God. Milliseconds away. Double wrists. Northern lights, two. Oh my goodness. Young finding a way to kick out there. Marita maintaining control of the wrists. Jacob Austin Young. Pump kick. Narita. Got him. Overhead belly to belly with a bridge. Two. There we go. Three count. And what I love about Ren Narita right now, who's on the roll of his life, is that whether it's a tag team action with Kushida, like we saw a couple of weeks ago in Charlotte, the victory in the main event. I guess the work horsemen are here in sync of competition. Whether it is at a methodical pace like the work horsemen or at a breakneck speed like Jake the Boston Young, Narita finds a way to win. You are seeing the growth of a superstar right in front of our very eyes. And he's not wasting any time. Alex, Fred Narita, your winner. Which leads one match here tonight, the main event, Alan Angel for Sasha Ishimori. Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. 本日のメインイベント30分一本勝負を行います。
but he wants it all, Alex Kozlov. He wants his name on that IW Junior, IWGP oh. Junior Heavyweight Championship. He wants his face on the posters and his name on the marquee, Alan Angel, who mutually agreed to move on from AEW. We've seen him now in Impact. We've seen him now in New Japan. New Japan strong. He is making the most of every match and every opportunity. And he finds himself suddenly here in the main event against the class of the New Japan Junior Heavyweight Division. so far in we got to see qt marshall we, oh. we saw christopher daniels turn his back on his partner yui amura and we are now in the main event with alan angels challenging one of the greatest a living legend a living young junior heavyweight legend in taiji ishimori and what a matchup this is gonna be both of these men are very agile. High flyers, intense. This is gonna be a fun one. It certainly is, we certainly could use a palate cleanser after QT, after Christopher Daniels. And this match may bring the house down here in Hollywood. Shimori won that title back in May at Don Cock. He won the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship back in May at Dontaku, defeating Desperado. And he defended the title against Hiromu in Korokin Hall. After that, he was confronted by Kushida. Now, he's refused to give Kushida a title shot unless Kushida proves himself. So Kushida went to Nashville and then Impact before beating Ishimori in the tag match during the G1 final. So this is a non-title bout here tonight, but Alan Angel certainly could put himself in line if he defeats the champion for sure. And Kushida, longtime rival of Ishimori, he has put himself in the title contention once again. He's the only junior heavyweight still in the Bullet Club with El Fantasmo transitioning to heavyweight. And he targets the shoulder nonstop. That is, you see some wrestlers that will change up their game plan, vary their game plan, but as New Japan historian and commentator Chris Charlton mentions, this is a man who will stick to the shoulder, and we're seeing that right away here. Nice hammer lock here, side headlock attempt, switching, side headlock takeover by Angels. It'll be interesting to see how Ellen Angels uh, does here. You know, big uh, experience difference here with uh, Ishimori, 20 years versus five years of Ellen Angels. It's nice. gonna be interesting. Wow. Drop, drop down, drop, drop kick. And you, you speak about that, there you see beautiful arm drag. I mean, back in college, I had Ishimori on posters on my wall. I have him on posters downstairs in my, in my home gym. I mean, this is a man who's a legend. The Ring of Honor Noah cards are, were, history making and this man has been doing it since then since even before then and a trailblazer in the style too oh absolutely when you had posters of him uh, in the room when qt marshall was throwing home runs in baseball i mean yeah ishimori has been through it all he's been around a long time collected many titles in noah in new oh. japan and that's the amazing thing about athletics these days. I mean, he's very much at the top of his game. His nice back elbow sends Ishimori down two. Maintaining one of the most intense physical fitness regiments in the world. You can see it in his conditioning. Alan Angel's also looking like a million bucks right now. Oh, I mean. When you attempt to call your own shot like Alan Angel's did, turning down big money, turning down the spotlight of AEW to go on and on your own. And the mutual parting of ways there. It's opened up some new opportunities like this match against Ishimori. Irish whip reverse. Handspring, Ishimori. Oh. Ooh. A twisting kick. 
Sending Allen Angels down. And Ishimori now with the advantage. Right in front of us here at the broadcast position. Oh. And that singular point of focus with that chop, reducing the surface area for more impact. On a single pressure point. A signature of Ishimori's. Oh, oh. wrist lock. And again, that shoulder focus. Chris, Chris Charlton saw it firsthand. G1 this year. That is what Ishimori will do. Oh, man. wow. Taking Angels off his feet with that chop. I mean, if you look at the, 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 the physicality of Ishimori, how, I mean, he is in really good shape. Kerbat uh, on the neck here. Yeah. Not the tallest uh, opponent, but he is strong. And fast and technical and very effective. And that's a dangerous package when you're that strong and have a low center of gravity. It means you could take your opponents off their feet in a, in a blink of an eye. Oh, wow! And that neck connected to the shoulders, all part of the game plan. Lateral press. Just a one count there. Now just stalking the vulnerable Allen Angels here. In our main event, of course, next week, we will see the conclusion of the tour. It'll be Fred Rosser defending the Strong Openweight Championship against TJP. And Ishimori, as good of a wrestler he is, you never can underestimate him going to the bag of dirty tricks. Charging in, caught in the ropes. Allen Angels sneaking oh. through. Step up in Sagiri, climbs that ladder. Outside in with a drop kick, sends Ishimori down. Popping up, off the ropes. Pace of this match picking up, it's Angels in the driver's seat. Ducks the clothesline, slides through. Insiguri in the ring, popping back up. It's Angels back on his feet first. Nice flurry here as Ishimori is rounded there in the corner. And Angels maintaining control here. One, two, two count there. <laughs> Gotta say, Ellen Angels is looking very impressive right now. Certainly is. Ishimori being stalked by Angels here. Ishimori in a bad way. I think Angels may have caught him off guard. I, oh, ducks the clothesline, standing switch from the waist lock. Breaks the grip. Wrist lock, Irish whip reversed into the corner, Ishimori. It's Angels following him in. Big boot sends Angels staggering. Lures him in. Oh. Catches Angels, drives him. Flat liner style move into that corner pad. Hooks the leg. Two. And that, that landing in that turnbuckle, you know, puts the, puts the pressure on that neck. It, it is not. Not a pretty move to take. And that's what's so amazing about Ishimori. It's that, it's that defense into offense, which figures into that game plan. That neck and shoulder are signatures. Oh, has him. Oh, oh, pump kick, beautiful. Swing and a miss. Ishimori eats a form from Angels. Big heels in the corner. Second row on the inside. Ishimori, Angels following him in. Oh! oh! Spanish fly. Cover. Two. Oh! Wow. Wow. Angels, a millisecond away from the biggest win of his career in the main event on New Japan Strong. Usually very difficult to catch Ishimori, and Ellen Angels has been able to catch, catch Ishimori off guard. And Angels, and I don't think it's for unpreparedness. I think he's catching Ishimori right at the right moment. That grueling watch the hair, watch the hair. G1 Climax oh. Tour 
Ishimori was not in the tournament, but he was on the tour. And you fight night after night after night. And Angels may have caught Ishimori just at the right time. Ishimori, though, fighting back with forearms. It's Angels coming back with forearms of his own. Angels delivers. It's Ishimori. Angels. Ishimori. Now remaining on the offensive here. Oh, wow, open man. hand. Charging oh. in, big knee. Ishimori has Angels where he wants him. Oh, look for the bloody cross. Caught, caught, caught. Oh! Bloody cross, bloody Sunday. Counter. Oh! Spinning lariat. Pin. One, two. Angels. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Ishimori, Ishimori rolling out of the rings. And it's Angels. Spring. Oh! Catching Ishimori. And also that shin right into the barricade. Allen Angels threw all caution to the wind and to inflict more damage on Ishimori, but he took some on that as well. First pay per view I ever called for Ring of Honor. I saw TK Ryan break his leg on a similar move. But Ishimori powering through on adrenaline. Oh, oh. double knees! Definitely, Ellen Angels is going for broke, trying to do whatever he can. Oh, oh bloody Sunday! Cover two. two. Oh, got it. <laughs> Allen Angels went for it all. No shame in the game plan. When we talk about high risk, high reward, he got Ishimori, but got even more of himself. Oh, Valen Angels is all right after that. The IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, Taji Ishimori, able to capitalize using Bloody Sunday to pick up the victory. Ishimori. Your victor here tonight, Alex Kozlov. This is week three of the Fighting Spirit Unleashed Tour. That means we have one more week left to go. Next week, the calendar turns to October. We have some huge matchups, including LA Dojo's DKC, Kevin Knight taking up Barrett Brown and Bateman of the Stray Dog Army. And what could determine the number one contenders for Aussie Open? We'll see the debut with Che Guevara take on Aaron Sola of the Factory, and I hope we don't see QT Martial. And the main event of the entire tour, the strong openweight champion Fred Rosser takes on challenger TJP. Fans, thank you so much for joining us here on week three. For Alex Kozlov, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Happy wrestling, everybody.